Hello, my name is Jason Whiting. Welcome to RA130. This is a fantastic course and I'm really excited that you've registered for it. Um, this is one of my favorite courses to teach. Uh, I've been teaching this for a couple years now. International tourism is a passionate topic of mine. I love to travel internationally whenever I get the, the opportunity. I've led trips um, all around the world, mostly um, in Central and South America though. Um, so the purpose of this video is to take a few minutes and to walk you through Blackboard. And in the process of doing that, to kind of walk you through and explain to you how the course is set up. So that's what we're going to do. Um, like most courses, Blackboard has, this Blackboard shell has a lot of the same fundamental pieces that a lot of your other courses will have. This is the main home page of the course. You have your assignments, that type of, or your announcements rather, that type of thing. Um, in these announcements right here on your sidebar, um, what you have is, this is the text, the course text. It is necessary that you get this course text. It's re relatively cheap compared to a lot of a lot of your other textbooks. Here's the course schedule. This is a very quick, easy way to find the course schedule. This is also found in the syllabus. Um, so you have the assignments that are due, the dates, uh, the topics that we're covering, and then the readings that come out of this text right here, which is abbreviated um, becoming Worldwise, BWW, and then a lot of other case studies and other reading materials that are posted on Blackboard. Um, the syllabus, to get you started, is located right here under this link. And one of the other things, just breaking the syllabus down, which I have right here, is the grading and course assignments. So all these grading and course assignments that um, these are all listed right here, and these can all be found in these links right here um, in Blackboard. So. Um, weekly, let's just run through these. Uh, one of the first ones, this is the personal profile um, assignment. This is due right off the bat here um, um, during our first week. So we will meet the first day of classes, which is Thursday, but the first week of classes, we have the personal profile assignment. So you can learn more about that in the syllabus right under these assignments there's a, a, a very thorough description about what is needed there. But before I get into that, I've organized the uh, course under course modules. So in any given week you can go under the uh, course modules and click on this link and it will take you and under all the instructional materials will be under that week. But I digress. Let me back up. One of the most important things with our schedule is this right here. You can see that Tuesdays we will meet in the classroom. Um, this is this course is what's referred to as a blended course or a hybrid course. So while we will meet in the classrooms on Tuesdays, on Thursdays these are what is referred to as location neutral. <clears throat> so this is a vir uh, a virtual meeting. Um, so Thursdays we will not meet in the classroom. You are more than welcome to come to the classroom. However, um, you might just see a couple people in the classroom with their laptops. I will not be there, but perhaps other students with their laptops may be there. But you are not required to be there on Thursdays. However, you can be at a location of your preference. Um, during Thursday, while you do not have to be present online during our sketch our scheduled meeting time, there are some things that you have to do. Um, and those are all outlined during these weeks. Okay, so let's click on the first week. <clears throat> so the activities and assignments are listed on the on the week. Okay, so while the first date we are in class, this is a Tuesday, the second week, the second date rather, is always the Thursday. Um, and so they're, the thing that we will always do on a Thursday are discussion boards, okay? But you just follow these instructions here. So, for example, I have uh, the course intro, which you are watching right now. Um, there's always a mini lecture, um, the personal profile assignment. You can click and complete that right here. Um, the intro Jeopardy game, 
um, tourism PowerPoint, and then the discussion board. You can complete those right here, and there's detailed instructions. The thing I'll reiterate over and over again is that there's thorough, thorough instructions if you just click the link and, and explore, click the link and explore. Week, pardon me, week two, once again, there's all sorts of material on here. You just have to walk yourself through it and explore the assignments, okay? So if we go back to the syllabus, we have um, a couple of the other major assignments other than um, very frequent um, discussion boards and that type of thing are the preliminary travel plans, so or the travel plans, okay? So the travel plan consists of three main items. There's three main parts. The final travel plan is the, the large cumulative project, um, which is the final report that you're handing in at the end of the semester. And the idea of the travel plan is for you to pick a location that you really like to travel to, okay? And perhaps down the road, perhaps uh, as a honeymoon location, perhaps um, when you get your first job, perhaps uh, over next spring break, perhaps um, next summer, whenever, perhaps in a couple years down the road, whenever. Um, and this is a foreign country that, that you'd like to go to, not Alabama, okay? We're, we're thinking foreign location. And then these preliminary reports right here, preliminary report number one, preliminary report number two, are designed to get you to that point, okay? To get you to this point where you will be able to um, get yourself to create these two different reports that will then end up in this final travel plan where you will create this document that will kind of assist you in um, developing this plan to allow you to develop um, a plan to, to actually result in having the necessary document to make this, this plan a reality. So a part of this, in addition to these preliminary reports and the details for this, this travel plan, the foreign travel plan, once again is found in Blackboard. You come to this foreign travel plan link and there's a ton of information here. So there's information about, <clears throat> pardon me, about how to turn in this foreign travel plan. Um, so the first preliminary report, once again, if you go to the schedule, um, you can find the due dates for this. But if you click on the preliminary report, the due dates are right here. And how to actually create the travel plan and, and log in and, and that type of thing is right here, but the goal for the travel plan is right here. The directions are right here. So what you're actually going to write about, the length of the different sections that you're going to write about. So you're going to write about the location, the motivation, globalization, um, and then of course grammar, writing, and style. Um, a lot of very useful information here. Okay, So this is preliminary report number one. Let's go back here. Preliminary report number two this is the next section of this is personnel, risk management, logistics, impacts, ethics. Um, once again, a lot of very useful information. So in addition to completing these sections, we also have the peer review elements of this. So you are creating these portions of the, your travel plans, and you're doing those in Google Documents. And there's instructions on how to create these in Google Docs. Um, right here. So using Google Docs and Google Apps at Fresno State. So I have detailed information right here, which I should have logged into this earlier. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I recently changed my password, so I'll have to do that later. Anyway, so we have Google Tutorials here, um, and there's videos on how to access Google Docs, how to create those. All this information is right here for you um, at your fingertips to kind of help you to do that. The peer review feedback. So I have these, these forms that you fill out for each of your peers. I have you in groups, okay? Your groups, while mine, as an instructor, I don't have the groups here set up, but your groups are all there. So the key here is just to follow all the links 
and follow the links and the instructions here and you will be all set.